So we're at the part where I talk about my top five disappointments of 2018. Now it's a mixed bag. It's not all tech. It's tech mixture of personal stuff. Probably some movies thrown in there. But it's my highest disappointments of 2018. Now my top five. So coming in at number five. Whew. Number five is I am pretty disappointed in the fact that I didn't get to produce as much videos for YouTube and you guys as I normally do. Now, this is due to the part that my editing laptop actually kicked the bucket. So I'm actually outsourcing most of the videos that I'm doing. There's a lot of people with knife on my throat who definitely want some videos done. But I am outsourcing and when you beg somebody to do something, you can't really pressure them. Or they might just say, screw you, but do it yourself. Can't do that. So, in the process, I try to get something up and running so I can go back to my old nature of just coming home, doing the videos, and not to beg nobody nothing, and get the videos them out there. I'm hoping that what I'm doing come true, but meanwhile, as making this video, I am outsourcing the editing for my videos. So I'm sorry guys, me another type of person will put out a video every two to three weeks. It's just not me. But I not have the facility to do it right now. Coming in at number four. Now, this is my, well, it's a love-hate relationship, but you know, I, a lot of his mercy. This, this, this was bad. This was, this was horrible, man. And coming in at number four is Pacific Rim 2. Pacific Rim or Pacific Rim 2. Bridget, you know how much me love the first movie? You wouldn't understand. Big robots fighting. Big monsters. Who not gonna love that? And you really screw up part two? Uh, probably it's because it's not the same person do it, but come on it was bad it was even the cgi was bad it was bad it was the one movie that i was looking forward to will let me down horribly probably deadpool too but it wasn't as bad as this trust me pacific rim 2 i better you not done it don't, don't make no more that's it just Kill the franchise, don't make no more. Make we try get the bad taste of Pacific Rim 2 out of mouth and remember part one. Alright? So that's number four, folks. <sighs> Going through this list, it kind of depressed me. Honestly. So coming in at number three, it is no doubt that I was verbal about it, but if you don't you miss it. Let's talk about it again. I don't understand how you sell a phone for so much money and it is that bad. It is... You can get so many other phones for that price. But I hope it depends on discount now. It depends on discount now? It depends on discount? Maybe they have a new one. I'm not reviewed. Yeah, I don't know how you sell a phone for so much money with so little features and hardware. And the camera is ungodly for the price. You can better, you, you better off check, sell Jamaica and get a second hand phone, which is a, a, a like a pixel. Pixel was around that price? I think the Pixel was around that price. And the Pixel is a much better phone. Pixel was around? Yeah. So, the, how, how you, how, how do you continue to get it? I want to, you know, I want to keep on a bite. Go buy a second hand phone. I better have it. Search Amazon. Buy a phone that come out 2018. It's a much better phone. Buy a phone that come out 2000. You know what? Buy a 2016 phone. Flagship phone. And it better than this. My third hell of a disappointment in 2018 is this thing that they call the DL2XL. 
I mean, I hear from the show to say they might have a new one. Where what the price on it? Well, probably get it in and see if it worth the price. But people, for the twenty odd thousand, no sir. Go far. Take, take your twenty odd thousand and go to a strip club. You get more value for it. So coming in at number two for one of my most disappointed pointed thing of 2018. Now, why? Me to have everything set up. Forget my hands on and review one of the Huawei Mate 20s them. Probably the Mate X or the Mate 20 or the Mate 20 Pro. I don't know what happened. I just lose contact them. Nah, give me back no feedback. I was there waiting. Rubbing my hand them together. I said, yeah, man, I get my hands for one of the wall with them and review and take some picture and compare it to some Samsung devices. I don't get any response. And I'm I just feel like I don't feel I feel like feel like somebody tell me somebody carry me out and then drop me out of place and say them soon come back and then I don't get no food and I don't get nothing to eat and then go about them business that's how I feel anyhow I really wanted to get my hands on the Huawei Mate 20 I review it for you guys or the Huawei Mate 20 Pro because I see some crazy video features for it and the in screen fingerprint scanner and the, the build quality but unfortunately I don't know how the communication went I don't know if it's going to be mended by later on this year or if I can get my hands on other Huawei products by the end of this year but to be honest it was heart-wrenching that it didn't come true and I didn't get my hands on the device for review for you guys them thing I make you feel hurt as a tech reviewer, you know, but can't take the thing too personal, you know, just can't, so hoping for the best coming this year. So we're at the number one most disappointment of 2018 and I haven't said this to anybody, but probably I should right now. It's the Samsung Note 9. And it's not the phone itself I'm disappointed in. I am disappointed that I didn't get it to review. And the problem in is not, it's not like, it's not like, no one hard for It's like, all right, let me tell you exactly how bad it is. But get the phone, the phone has ship come, and before, I was getting the phone before the phone actually release. Believe me, that's how my links turn up. Links turn up bad. So I just shell out some some things and say, "Yo, I want this before it release." And while shipping, it disappear. Yeah, yeah, you heard me right. It, it disappear. So. You know, pause, make me go and cry, yeah? Yeah, so, um, it disappeared. So, I couldn't get it for review, and I couldn't get it from nobody else, and uh, the damn thing just passed through my radar. Honestly, it is very, very hurtful. Very. Very. I really wanted to review that phone the hype around that phone was real and i wanted to know if the camera was living up to the whole s9 or better than the s9 or if it did a live up to not some of the mid-range them because enough of the mid-range them for samsung they take some good pictures and 2019 start I ain't getting the phone to review. A matter of fact, it don't even make no sense to review the phone now because the S10 probably come out in February. 
which I do hope the same thing will happen. But again, can't take this thing too personal. Although my ball go down on this thing, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Snakes in the grass, you gotta watch where you step. Blood on the leaves, you either kill or be killed. When there's food on the table, you either eat or you starve. And when there's sharks in the water, you either sink or you swim. It's a jungle out there. It's a jungle out there. It's a jungle out there.